no. So this one I want to make sure was in here because these guys are very new. Oh no, Guggen stuff. Now this is their bunker log. This is the original five inch and this is in the natural color. Now these all come in plastic when they come to you. Go ahead and take yours. I'm gonna grab mine. All right, so this does have a scent to it. And it is, I've always found this since the first time I started fishing with these, they're very oily. Is there cinnamon? I'm not sure. It just says open sniff catch. And I not to say as far as uh I thought I was gonna I, I could smell something right away. I was expecting fish or something natural, or a lot of times you get that garlic or coffee. Oh, here we go. It's, it's uh a nice it says super salty and it's uh slaunch sauce. Right there, slaunch sauce. Okay, I don't know what slaunch sauce is. Um I'm sure someone in the comments will tell me exactly yeah, what it is. Like, <laughs> but um you can smell it. Oh, Kind of like a licorice, actually. Yes, yeah, licorice yes, smell. Like, yeah, I didn't nice. even think about it. Yeah, almost like a like black, a black licorice. licorice. Yeah, that I was. That's what I was like. Is it <laughs> cinnamon? That's weird. And you see, it is transparent, pretty heavily glittered. Unless, but like I said, it's oily, barely oily. Yeah. And the scent is already on my hands. So let's take a look at the salt content. Oh, look at those grains. Those are huge. Um, so big granules, probably the biggest granules we've seen, I have a feeling that's gonna affect the durability because it means that there's more area around it that won't be connected. And actually, as you're looking at it and you're bringing it around, you can actually see all the granules like inside by the speck, you can actually see it. Yeah, so. And a lot of it does kind of come off in fact, the flex as well. And I'm sure you can see that with the light. My hand now is just, it's really oily. Yeah, and, and even the flex are coming out with it. But let's, Here's the real test. Let's see how it holds up durability-wise. Let's take a look now, at the again, numbers. Now again, just like with the Amoto, I know for a fact it's right at the egg sac. And that's exactly where we're going to do this test from. All right, ready? Three, four, five, six point five, I'd say. Yep, and that's right there at the egg sac. So, hey, and you know what? Through the egg sac, actually, it's not even at the ribs; is where it broke. They actually performed a little better than I was anticipating. Um, I, I'm still kind of hung up on the smell. Yeah, <laughs> but I've never smelled anything quite I like this. I do appreciate but. how they did. They're they're. Not like at the top strength wise, but at the same time, they're not at the bottom. They're in the solid middle, middle top area. So they're holding their own, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah. Which, uh, you know, uh, impressive. You can't do a strength test without, without including Z-Man. Period. Yeah. Everybody knows. They're a Laztec. It's been coming very well known in the industry. But now we are going to put and in, take into effect. Now these are the TRDs. They are half the size of all of the other ones. Well, lengthwise. Thickness. Lengthwise. But thickness, they're right at the same. Thickness, it is at about, yeah, it is almost exactly the same. Nice. Okay. So, and again, this is kind of just what I had on me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like I went out and bought new stuff just to tear it apart. So the smell, it's, I know it has a smell, but, but it's, like it's very, very faint. And, and I, there's uh, quite a bit of salt. I'm not sure what it is. But not, not anywhere near as much as the others. No. But it does have a good salt content. This was harder to cut. I, I don't know. You guys could probably hear the sound it made while I was cutting yeah, it. Yeah, that, but, you can hear the current trying to get through it. Now, part of that may be, too, the granules, because if you notice, it's not a smooth cut. Um, almost like maybe the salt or glass or whatnot was And actually, if you're, but, you look at the color, when you really look at it, it's not a solid color. Not a solid color at all. It, it kind of looks like there's a bunch of marbles in it. The, and there is. It, yeah. In fact, they're... They look almost perfectly round. Yep. 
So it's hard to show that, but it's definitely a different aggregate than what the others are using, I believe. I think these are probably glass beads or, or something similar, opposed to like a salt. And I, it, it reminds me though, a bit of the X-Zone style. Um, yeah. Some of the others, they had thicker, but some of these are a little more uniform. They're too uniform to just be uh, like a salt, what have you. All right, so. Now uh, here's the, here's Here the real go. test. Let I'm me, putting it right dead center and I'm holding it just like I did with the rest. Take your time and go nice and slow so we can get an accurate read as we go up. Here we go. And we're at two, three, four, five, seven, twelve, fourteen. Mm. We we're right ah. at about fourteen <laughs> pounds. Okay. Wow, all that salt popped. I right was going to say I, I got some of that in my eyes too. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> now and it's all over now. It's like that was actually crazy. Very, very rough. Um. Definitely not a clean break. You can tell it probably took the path of least resistance throughout the salt, what have you. But the other thing too is that I'm noticing is like the whole bait itself everywhere is kind of torn apart. Even in the areas where it's not torn apart externally, internally it's torn apart. So I feel like it would break down over time over continued stretches because of the granules in it. Um, there's salt popping off the yeah, literally entire thing, at you. uh, fleck popping off the whole thing. Um, but at what close to 14 something around there. So, so far Last it's heck. twice as strong as the others. I know they claim 10 times tough, but it's at least twice as tough. Um, I could see on some of them three times, not not 10. <laughs> but at, at the same time, you know, I'm sure there's other baits out there that they probably are. Um, all right, so. Okay, go finish it up. But, uh, let's see. Now we have the Nico. So these are hollow, so because of that, we're also going to try an Ikenago Minnow, which is a lot thinner. And um, it is still, it's uh, five so inch too. You'll notice that, it, you know, it is thinner than the others. It is five inch. It is a stick bait. The bass worms, they have a hollow going throughout the whole thing. Now, scent wise, uh, it, it smells like... It has a good scent to it, but it smells it's like, like it, it's not much like the power bait or anything. Like it's very like it, it smells fishy. It smells like seafood. it's definitely natural, but it's not. Yeah, it's not like the the Googans or anything where it's artificial. Like you have a very, it's like a, it's hard to explain. Like actually, it's kind of like like a kind of like a dead fish type smell. Like like, but it's still natural. It's it's potent though, which. Uh, which that is what they are known for, but it's I can't really describe it as right, far so as scent go. But it's 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 strong. I'm gonna start with cutting this one. We'll cut this one, uh, I don't know, like right in the middle, just to kind of show. Um, we'll probably should cut it at the egg sac as well. So if you can cut it, <laughs> so you can see that it is hollow going throughout it. And it's not, it's Nothing. not very thin hollow either. No, it's like, yeah, it looks like it's about eight millimeters of hollow. So it's like half the worm is hollow, which is nice. Cause when I fish these, I actually like to stuff the Nico weights right in it. Um, I also like to put rattles in it, put scent in it. So it gives me a lot of options. Um, Especially and, on the clearer water where you can't really go with it. And, and one thing I'll, sh stuff. I'll show off too is stretch wise distance it tends to get more than the others so um, i'm going to give this one a cut right at the head as well and this actually 
has a small hollow in it also. So that helps for, you know, tossing a hook in there or what have you. And that's like a pin size hollow. Yeah, so this is, this is probably about one millimeter. Um, but again, nice scent. This one smells a little different. Still a, a fishy type of scent. Um, but let's go ahead and get a reading. Yeah, I'll hold the uh, scale on this one. This one's going to be kind of difficult. So This one's going to have a lot of there. stretch, I can tell. All right. We're going dead center. There we go. We're up to 7, 9, 11, 13. 15. 15. 17 and a half, 19. 19. 20. 20, 25, uh, 23, <laughs> 25, that's there, that 26, uh, this scale, it's still, all right, okay, this so scale it's, uh, stops at 26, it's, it's, I mean, it technically <laughs> stops at 25, so I don't know how yeah. we even hit 26, hold on, huh. let's, let's try that one more time, <laughs> right. I'm gonna hold it together by hand, all right, mm. I was gonna say, here, show oh, on the there we thing go. too, just so you guys can see, there's nothing on there, but yeah, no, that. nothing. It's twenty six, twenty six, thirty one. Oh, oh thirty one. <laughs> that was at thirty one, <laughs> and of a uh, uh, when it's only supposed to be a twenty five pound scale. Yeah, so that's crazy. I got to admit, we probably lost a lot of our accuracy on that one uh, because. I mean, we maxed that, out the scale and then some. Yeah. What, that was like 120%, something like that. I don't know, but... That was uh, crazy. So, all right. Now, we're going to try the Ikanago Minnow. Same thing. And you'll notice, too, again, this is a lot thinner, but it seems to not matter too much. What, 15? 21, 22, 24. It's slipping out of my hands. Oh. Oh. Can't even see. All right. Hold on, I gotta like wrap it around or something. All right. Twenty-five. That's thirty. Oh. That it didn't break. Right, that it just stopped. Right, it was right at 31. It didn't break. It slid it's out still, of my hand. That's 31 pounds, and we're not going to be able to get any higher up with this it, it scale. It maxed out the scale, and it still, it has still not didn't break. break, and it's barely barely affected by it at all. Uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, you can see a little stretch mark, but... Uh, that's intense. All right, you know what? Let's, uh, I want to try something else out. We'll, uh, now you, you guys can see I'm going through that bait right where we just stretched the heck out of it. So you can see the holes in the wood. All right, I stabbed the heck out of it. You can, I know you can hear but it on something there. Something like 20 times. All right, we're going to tear right. it. So just to get the effect of toothy critters and stuff like that. All right, I'm going to. Just start pulling down. Uh, go straight up. I don't want you to smash your window. 15, 16, 25. <laughs> it's that. What, did we max it out again? Yes. All right, now look. Max I just want to show. All right. We just put a ton of holes in there. And still it has not broken. So I, that we'll get a stronger scale. We're gonna get a bigger scale. Yeah, this is uh, definitely one of those uh, bigger boat scenarios. Yeah. So uh, in the meantime, we'll make a bass guitar and go from there. But that was yeah. impressive. That was I, my my hand we're actually gonna, hurt now. Like we're gonna do another video later that. too, showing the buoyancy of them. Yeah. So we'll take different weights. See if they float on their own or not. If they do float on their own, how much weight does it take 
to sync it. There you go. So we'll be doing some other tests and getting some stuff together. Thank you guys for joining in. Be sure to check out Lifeaholics Fishing. And Fish NFX Custom Rods. Fish with the best. Fish NFX. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Have a good one.